troublemaker in town. Oh, we got more troublemakers here now. My son Colin, this is his first year at the Face Off Camp, and he absolutely had a blast and wanted me to know right away. Every day he's been thanking me, saying, are we going next year? He's just had an incredible time. Face Offs and friends. <laughs> and doing the parent track. We've had a great group of people. I've learned more than I ever thought I would, and it was just an incredible experience. <laughs> what do you think of the camp so far? It's really fun. Yeah, it's really fun, and we do a lot of stuff that definitely improves my face-off skills. Pizza fan, unite. <laughs> Go over here, boys. Make some noise. Oh. 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 If I don't have enough of the ball and I lift this back hand without enough of it, will I ever get enough? No. No. Right? And making sure that we're getting right. Joe talked about that kind of three different planes, right? The plane going straight down over the ball, the plane going around, and the plane going across the line as well. Certainly would recommend Face Off Factory, but I think you're limiting yourself by saying it's only for people who do face offs. Of course, it, it, it pulls a lot of fosos and fogos. My son's neither. He, he wants to be uh, multi purpose, and I think the coaches and the kids and the camaraderie all brings that up. And it's a little more intimate than a, a normal lacrosse camp. So I, I think overall, trying to grow the game, trying to create a passion with my son for the game, hit on all cylinders. That was just a really neat brotherhood experience he didn't expect to get from it. And I think I would tell people, send your kids because not only will they make great friends, they'll actually learn a ton too. Good work boys, nice job. Jack, nice job. See you buddy.